Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my review of the Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary of Empire Strikes Back ATAT -AT Driver. And uh, since this is the 40th Anniversary of Empire Strikes Back uh, figure, they are all on the really cool vintage collection card backs, kind of. Obviously, they are a lot bigger, but uh, they do look really cool. I love the art for the AT, AT Driver, and um, I found this guy in a BAM bookstore. I had to pick one up. He's one. I think he's one of the best ones from the uh, line, and I thought I would have had to pick it up. So the back, there isn't a whole lot to it. There isn't a bio or anything. It just shows some of the other figures in the line, kind of like uh, the... Uh, what's it called? The um, like with the different colors with the retro collection. So I do really like that. And then in the top corner, it has the Black Series logo. And um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to this figure. Um, it's not really numbered or anything. So um, yeah, let's get this figure out of the bubble and see what it looks like. So we have the ATAT -AT driver out of the bubble, and uh, he does look really good. There's something about the ATAT -AT driver that I just really like. He's one of my favorite um, Imperial characters in uh, the original trilogy, and um, I don't know what it is about uh, the ATAT -AT driver that does that, but uh, he kind of gives off like astronaut vibes for me with like the gray jumpsuit, and then he has like the white moon boot looking things. And I don't know, I really like it. I th it's definitely one of my favorite um, Imperial fig or characters, and uh, I was really happy to pick up the figure. So. Um, he only does come with one accessory, but we will get into the accessories later in the video. But first, we should get a close-up on the details on his like chest and helmet areas. So, so we have the AT-AT -AT driver up close here, and he does look really, really good. I love the uh, breathing apparatus thing on his chest, and then his helmet just looks amazing. So it is the TIE Fighter mold for the helmet. But as you can tell, the uh, little pipes, they go to the back of the helmet instead of like the little mouthpieces. Uh, they go to the back instead of that. So that's one thing that is different between the AT-AT -AT driver and the uh, pilot. And uh, going to the back, we also have this really cool detail on the back of the armor. And it does look really good. I also love the um, the shoulder plates for this. It's just weird. It's not like a normal Stormtrooper, and it gives it a really cool um, effect to it. And it just looks good. I don't know. And then uh, the helmet. I love the uh, red uh, Imperial insignias and... Uh, the uh, weird like triangle uh, thing on the uh, top of the helmet and it, I don't, it's just uh, the stuff about this uh, figure is very unique and that's what I really like about it um, you don't really see anything else like this in Star Wars and um, I just really like this style of um, uh, Stormtrooper so then he also has like the little red dots uh, at least a little red thing on his uh, on his helmet right there and um, I don't know, it's just really cool to see them doing different colors like that. I know that is just how the f the character is, not just the figure. But I think it looks really cool. And um, again, I just really like this figure. I don't know why, but let's go down a little bit. He does have like the um, the flight straps going down around his legs. And you go farther down, you have like the moon boots I was talking about. Yeah, they just look like if you look up um, the like astronaut moon boots it looks a lot like this and uh, that's what I was talking about it gives off moon boot vibes and um, I think it looks really good so we go all the way back around and um, there's a little bit more detail on like the gauntlet glove area you um, can bend his arm back this way and he just has like a little button there or some you know don't really it doesn't really do anything it's just there and it d has a lot of detail like that that is really cool on this figure so let's get a close look at all of the articulation that this figure has. So first of all, the head for articulation. It doesn't have the most range of movement. It goes around like that. You can look forward that far and up that far. You can go sideways that far and about the same on the other way, other other side. So his arm can go all the way around, can go up all the way like that and um, his elbow can move a little less than 90 but it does look really good um, and it can go it doesn't really go back it goes oh I guess it does go back um, it goes back that far I guess um, his wrist does swivel and then it also has the uh, joint at the wrist so uh, 
he does have a twist all the way around at uh, the abdomen area. Um, he does have swivels at the thighs. His leg can bend up that far. Rockers at the ankles go forward that far and up that far. And then it can his leg can go out that far and back that far. And this figure only comes with one accessory. Comes with his uh, just standard Imperial Blaster. And it does look really good. There is not a whole lot to it. Um, it just has a little bit of silver there. And you can flip it around to the other side. And there's no paint on this side at all. And I love the sculpt for this. It's uh, just any Imperial Blaster has this sculpt. But it does look really good. And I can't complain too much. So, uh, on to my final thoughts. On so, overall, I do really like this figure. There's not a whole lot I see that's wrong with it, except for the um, articulation in the elbows. It doesn't quite get to 90, but I don't think there's any reason it really does need to get to 90. Um, it holds the blaster just fine in two hands. It looks uh, pretty good when he does hold it as well. So, um, overall, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I love the card back with uh, the bubble and everything. I love that style for um, the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. And um, I do really love this figure. Paint jobs are amazing. And uh, same with his one accessory. Um, he doesn't really need any more, in my opinion. You don't really see the um, at, at driver use anything other than a uh, blaster like that. So... I am going to give it a 5 out of 5, so um, I would suggest this to any Empire Strikes Back fans, uh, Imperial fans, or um, I guess AT-AT driver fans. <laughs>